Hi students, this is going to be a very quick introduction to the unemployment rate, the topic that we're going to be talking about here over the next week or so. The unemployment rate is calculated by the Bureau of Labor Statistics each month, and they use data that's gathered by the current population survey, which is better known as the household survey. These data are gathered by the Census Bureau, surveying 60,000 households every single month. The current population survey asks questions to individuals in the household that are 16 years or older about their current and past employment situation. They try and find out if people are working, and if they're not working, why have they decided not to work? There are some definitions that we're going to need for this class. One is the working age population, everyone in the country that is 16 years of age or older. We need to know the labor force everyone who is working, plus those not working but are actively searching for a job, and those that are not in the labor force. These are people who are over the age of 16. They are not working, nor are they actively searching for a job. This is very key. In order to be unemployed, you need to not have a job, and you're also not actively searching for a job. We're going to see that on this slide. Employed, that's pretty easy. It's just those that have a job. Whereas people who are unemployed are those that do not have a job and are actively searching for a job. And so by definition, when we're talking about someone who is officially unemployed, not only do they not have a job, but they also have to be actively searching for a job. And the last definition that we're going to talk about is discouraged workers. People who are available for work, but have not looked for a job during the previous four weeks. And the reason being is they believe that there are no jobs available for them. The last thing that we're going to go over for this introduction to the unemployment rate are the equations that we're going to need to make the calculations to figure out a few different things, including the labor force, which is the employed plus the unemployed. We also need the unemployment rate, which is the number of people who are unemployed as a percentage of the labor force. We put times 100 to get into an unemployment rate like the current unemployment rate of 4%. Last but not least, we're looking for the labor force participation rate. The labor force participation rate is simply just the overall labor force as a percentage of that working age population. Again, we multiply it by 100 to get it into a percentage term instead of just something like 0.63.